I get the idea, you call up your mates all over and you say, you know what, I've got the right spot, bring whatever talent you have. So what's on the menu tonight? Tonight we're doing spot prawns, right? So Angus, Thai chef, Vancouver, five courses. We got a very special dessert at the end. My team has paired some really nice cocktails and wine pairings for that as well. Oh, hey, look at the view. That's it. <laughs> even, if the, even if the food was crap, at least people are leaving with a good view, right? Oh man, that's But awesome. that's not gonna happen. People say Thai food is simple food, but simple is hard. Simple is really hard, yeah. When you have really, really fresh ingredients, you can try to keep it simple, you know? So what are we having on the menu tonight? Well, we're featuring um, the, one of the most beautiful things about uh, BC seafood that's in season right now, BC spot prawns. We uh, flew them all, all the way over here from Vancouver. We have them prepared in several different ways. This is the start of our, of our spot prawns, all right? Let's, let's put it over here, yep fresh whole spot prawns. What we've done is just very, very simply quickly blanch them. So they're very natural, right? So they're whole. They were live this morning. We just peeled the shell off. We've taken the head, we've cooked the head and made the oil. This little cracker here, spot prawn essence, made with uh, glutinous rice, puffed up like a little shrimp cracker. The traditional Nam Jim sauce, which is Thai chilies, lime juice, that's the acidity and the freshness. Angus brought all the, all the flavors. So he came in and and gave us the direction and you know I'm learning things from him so just these flavors with these ingredients you know this is world-class food right here. It is world-class food um, when you're in Bangkok probably not on a white plate with white napkins this is you'll probably get a little little bowl yeah the plastic fork yeah plastic plastic forks and knives and plastic bowls that's it good in a We're plastic bag. Just gonna watch you guys look at that so you're just eating them, just giving them a little so bit of a crust. them on the skin side, and uh -huh. then we're going to finish them off in the oven. If you drop a prawn on the floor... I'll give it to you. No, you eat it. That's how it goes. <laughs> Let me get out of your way. Are you supposed to eat the shells? No, so the way that we've cut them, butterfly them open, the idea is I can just take the spoon and just scrape the meat right out of the shell. Chuck it in the sauce. We call That's it, it well, sauce. Yeah, we call gonna... it sauce. It's soup. I know it's soup. It is a soup. It's so, so beautiful. He's filling up the thermoses, uh -huh. and we're going to bring it out. So you're going to get the lovely presentation right at the table. So this is all about presentation. We're going to go see it out there. Which one are we drinking tonight? So it's the Wolf Burger, the Vestamina, 2003 vintage. With the spices, it's quite hard to match wines with. However, you want to opt for more of a sweeter, off-dry style. So yeah, it should pair nicely. Good. So let's get let's going. Let's get it out there. Awesome. What's going on here? Just, just tell me. Well, who's finishing now, the bottle? Now, now, because obviously I didn't have Angus here when we were doing the pairings and the and the menu creation, right? His bar team were in collaboration with me and Colette, my bar team, to choose the best pairings for the dinner. So when she's bringing me the wine, it's not because I want to get drunk. Maybe I do. But uh, no, it's actually just to try the try the wines with the food to see if we've hit the nail on the head with our pairings. How do you know how much you're supposed to put in there? You just said to leave that little inch. That's the right right amount, balance of prawns? I've been told. <laughs> so the idea is to take your prawns for a tom yum sum. Did you get that? This is a tom yum soup, so you're taking for a tom yum sum. sum. <laughs> Good. When I was in Thailand, one of my favorite things was uh, the grilled squid salad. So I'm just going to grill this off. So this is about one third of one side of the, the squid. So we've got the whole panels. And you got some spices on there. You could yeah, share that with us. Yeah, we're, well, it's the, secret, the secret ingredients of salt and pepper. There you go. Share it with the world. There you go. Okay. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil, yeah. Nice. Because we want the flavor to come through through the salad, we just want the nice the grill, that char flavor of the squid. And then, that cooks pretty fast, so don't, yeah, it don't sure mess does. it up. There we go. Yeah, look, sure, at that. look at that. Grill marks. <laughs> it's all cut up, and now we're just uh, finishing the plating here and kind of cleaning up for the next course as well. What's so. the crumb that he puts on there? That's the part of the squid head? It's just crumbled uh, cashews. Oh, it's just and, the cashews? Uh, cashews, yeah. Good. Always good with the papaya salad. Yeah. Awesome. It's getting hot behind you. I'm going to leave now. Jerry, where are you from? I'm from Czech Republic, from Prague. 
And did you ever heard about Prague? I know about Prague. What did you heard about Prague? Uh, Prague's a great it's place. Beautiful. Yes. It's almost exactly beautiful as it is Most here. Most beautiful woman in the world. Thank you very much. That's what I was hearing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, this is the dish that we put together with the juniper teams with the OK from Chef Angus, of course, uh, by suggestion. All right, so enjoy it. Cheers. Thank you. Angus, moment of truth. I want to get your your opinion. He says this is taking him back to Thailand. I want to see if it does the same for you. Second bite. Always see that take a second bite. One more bite, three stars. All right, I'll give him one there more. There we bite. go. Yeah. Three stars. There we go. Three out of three. <laughs> Three out of three. That's uh, probably the most carrots I'm gonna have the whole week, eh? <laughs> For your last savory course, we made a uh, inga tea, which is a southern style curry. So it's one of my favorite things to eat. It's typically from southern part of Thailand. So I do hope you guys enjoy. This one does have a bit of kick to it. So have a little bit of that, have a little bit of the fish, okay? Enjoy, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So what are we having dessert? It's nice to have a cleansing flavor to finish the evening. For this one, we have a fermented rice uh, and yuzu sorbet. So the stabilizer is really the rice. The starch kind of stabilizes Starches, everything. Yeah. How long does it take to make fermented rice? It takes about a week. It's, uh, it's not available to get the, uh, the, 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 the starter culture, so we have to bring it back from Asia from time to time. Thanks for having us here. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for coming. And uh, you're doing phenomenal work. Don't stop. Thank we want to go see what happens in Vancouver with you. Yeah, yeah, let me know. And I know you got another one up your sleeve. June 21st is the next one, patio party. You guys are more than welcome to come. Lucky to have really good friends that, uh, that are traveling across the country and I can bring them into the valley for oh, a day. I've got a confession to make. I like your friends. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> We travel all over, looking for something authentic. And sometimes when you dress it up, it's not authentic. And one of the interesting things about Thai food, they take simple stuff, stuff that they can find everywhere and they make something amazing for them. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, cowboy. Thanks for joining us. There's been many more of these. You better bottle up. <laughs>